Have you ever felt frustrated or irritated for no obvious reason? Have you ever caught yourself being triggered by what some might call a simple thing? Do you hold grudges or ruminate on things that upset you? Do you easily become defensive or fly off the handle and say things you later regret? Hey everybody, I'm Sherry Krebs, your spiritual fitness coach, and today we're gonna talk about anger. First, I want to clarify that I certainly am no expert in anger management, but I would like to share some of my experience with anger and how the Lord worked in my life and continues to do so in this area. For many years in my adult life, I felt unsettled in my soul. Even though I was saved and had a relationship with the Lord, I was not living with peace or real joy at all. I was irritable and complained about personal injustices. I anticipated the reactions of others and often assumed I knew their motives and intentions. I just felt angry. Now, I didn't call it anger because it sounded better if I just called it frustration, but I was angry. I couldn't identify the source of the anger, but a lot of things irritated me and made me angry. The scary part of it was that most people didn't even know how I was feeling. I was still able to do the day-to-day -day things, go to work, be a wife, mom, and a friend, and serve in my church, but my heart was hurting. I felt like I was walking alone. A series of events happened, death of a family member, broken relationships, loss, illness, and lots of life change. These all just fueled my anger. At my lowest point, I decided I no longer wanted to live feeling sad and mad all the time, so I sought some wise, godly counsel. Pretty early on, I learned that anger was just really a way for me to cope with many other emotions I was dealing with, like fear, sadness, loneliness, loss, and rejection, to name a few. I had a lot of emotional wounds from my past and present that needed healing. In true, awesome God fashion, He already knew that I would need this healing. Psalm 147.3 says, The Lord heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Isn't that amazing? During that time, I was introduced to a book called Do You Want to Be Healed? A 10-Day Scriptural Retreat with Jesus by Bob Schutz. One of the statements I remember was, Somewhere deep inside, each one of us is a burning desire to finally become the person God created us to be. That was what I so desperately wanted. I dove into this deeply, and instead of doing it in 10 days, I did it over 10 weeks, spending a full week on each chapter, going through scripture, praying, meditating, contemplating, and taking specific action steps to answer the same probing questions Jesus asked many people he encountered in the Gospels. Through my time in His Word, I encountered Jesus in a new and fresh way. I was reminded of His great love for me, His pursuit, and His desire for me to not be a slave to what was holding me from living abundantly. This growth and renewed trusting relationship with the Lord and the guidance of a godly counselor helped me face my own brokenness and wounds and allow the complete healing that only comes from God. Maybe you're listening and connecting to some of my story. I want you to know I understand the misery that emotional wounds bring. Wounds and brokenness often show up as anger. We just feel angry and maybe we don't even know why. I can also say that is no way to live. Galatians 5 tells us that the fruits of the Holy Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's the kind of life I want to live, and I want that for you too. As you think about how to win today over anger, let me challenge you with the following. Are you angry? Be honest with yourself by taking an inventory of your thoughts and actions. You cannot change anything if you don't acknowledge it. Do you want to be well? Do you want to be healed? In John 5, Jesus asked this same question to a man who had been paralyzed for 38 years. Verse 6 says, Jesus saw him and knew he had been lying there for a long time. 
Now, the man's immediate response was to make an excuse that he had no one to put him in the healing pool and that people kept getting in front of him. Even with his excuses, Jesus still wanted to heal him and wanted him to be whole. He sees you and me and longs to heal us and make us whole. If you need help working through emotional wounds, I encourage you to seek the help of a godly counselor. Opening your heart and taking steps to receive Jesus' healing for your brokenness and wounds will free you to be whole and holy and love others well. Now, go win today.